Hey there, you're watching the Jessa channel on YouTube. I'm Jessa, and today I am here with a new Let's Play. This is Adam's Venture Origins. It just released on Steam today, April 1st, and <laughs> it is a really neat game. I haven't played, this game is actually a reimagining of Adam's Venture Chronicles, a game I think was released a few years back, and um, I really got excited about this game for a number of reasons. One, it is set in the 1920s, and if you've been here on the channel, you know how much I enjoy those historical games. It's, it's an adventure game. The voice work is wonderful. Graphics, wonderful. So basically, they've taken a previous game, added more content to it, um, really beefed it up for newer computers. It looks beautiful. So we're going to be playing this game today. Um, you can grab it on Steam. As I had mentioned, it just came out today. It's 30% off as of this recording, so I encourage you to head on over and grab this game and play it along with me. If you are playing it along with me, let me know in the comments below. All right, enough talk. Let's get to it. Let's go to Adam's Venture. One last thing, this game is kind of like Indiana Jones, kind of we're, we're going to be playing a real adventurer, gung-ho type. So we start off in Oxford. So we're going to start a new game. Let's see what our hero is up to. Adam? Adam, wake up, boy. How can you sleep at a time like this? Well, our hero is busy, uh, uh, heroing. <laughs> this is Adam in the chair here. Um, and... How can you sleep at a time like this? We need to wake up, so let's do so. Come on, Dad. We're searching dusty old books at 2 a.m. in the morning. Uh, can't imagine why I dozed off. Exciting, isn't it? And what's more, I'm really on to something here. After all these years of research, I'm about to prove my Genesis theory. And if you do, we can stop reading? Wow, this is really exciting. Hmm? Well, in any case, I need you to find my new assistant in the library wing. There's a book there that I need. All right, this is Adam, our hero. And as you can tell... I don't know what that thing is on his hip. He is already decked out for adventure. That thing must really hurt you if you fall asleep on it. I don't know what that is. It looks like, oh yes, I remember one of the things that they've added to the game is a grappling hook. So that's really neat. So we can move him in this way. Now I did not play the first Adam's Venture, so I'm really happy to bring this uh, content to Dad, you. It's gonna be- What book do you need? Book? What book? Oh, the book. My assistant knows. Just go to the library wing. Yep, so um, pressing E will allow you to interact. The controls seem pretty simple. The graphics I have set as high as they can go, and I'm getting a very smooth, wonderful 60 frames a second. So let's uh, open this door. I like the artwork so far. We can head down here. Different uh, old farts on the uh, paintings here. Let's see if this is the library ring. It's locked. It's not. Okay. As I mentioned, we are in Oxford. And some controls come up here. The library and the gallery are that way. So it looks like we can hold shift to run. Ah, there we go. And to jump. Look at that! Woohoo! We're Adam. We're venturing. Oh, life is good. Yes. I'm handsome. I'm young. I'm venturing. This is wonderful. It's so good to be me. Let's see. It's locked. It's locked to keep nosy parkers like us out. But there's a beautiful day. <laughs> Spoke too soon. It's a crappy day. Whoa. Welcome to England. If this weather keeps holding, <laughs> I better start building an ark. <laughs> it's beautiful. You can see just out over there. Okay. 
the uh, flowers really nicely done and the rain looks really excellent on the on the cobblestones they've so far I've been very impressed so this is a blind playthrough um, all I have done is tested as I always do with every game the recording environment to make sure that it would record beautifully for you and not be too uh, janky and everything looks great so let's oh wait open closet here so I was in here before and um, oh the last time I was here, there were different things on the... Well, maybe there weren't. Maybe I'm just remembering wrong. But this just this just looks like a closet that we're going to need to grab everything out of here to start our venturing, don't you think? And by the way, let's get a look at our handsome hero up close. Look at him. A blue-eyed wonder boy. Yes, sir, Bob. He's a heartbreaker. Let's see what's down here. Absolutely nothing. Can I open this drawer up? Nope. I just got excited there for a minute. Beautiful artwork. Ah, the library. The old library might contain the book my dad needs. But where is his assistant? Okay, well, let's find out if she is or he is in here. <gasps> Whoops. It's <laughs> that's, that's, uh, that's totally not what I meant to do. <laughs> but I'm just so excited to be... 1920s young rip roaring adventurer I'm just I just can't help myself get all happy okay so ah here is the young lass excuse me miss I'm looking for my father's new assistant most likely a scruffy old fellow a nerdy sort of type probably smelling like musty old books well I'm Evelyn Appleby your father's new assistant you must be Adam Am I the sort of type you're looking for? Yes. I mean, no. I I mean, I, I only meant, uh... Oh, I think I know what you meant. Now, would you help me with these paintings? According to Professor Venture, they're the key to unlocking the library door. These paintings, the key to unlocking the library door. Our first puzzle appears. If I help you with these paintings, could we perhaps start over? Start over? Oh, Adam, I bet you say that to all the girls. But if you help me, I'll think about it. Well, I sense a saucy romantic entanglement coming up. And just in this game, um, the quick overview of it is that uh, uh, we are embarking on a bold adventure. It's set in the Roaring Twenties. We will explore ancient ruins, recover mysterious artifacts, and together with your trusted accomplice, Evelyn, you will have to outsmart the Clairvaux Company. So, I sense, as I had said before, romantic entanglements. So, we have something to take care of here. Let's look at these paintings. That brings us back here. We need to select these paintings. Okay. So, we can select them. It looks like... If we press E, what happens? Oh, I see. Okay, okay. So it looks like we need to match the person to the symbol that is most like that person. So we have a kind of moon and star sun symbol. So that would be astrology. Well, that looks like this man here. Looking towards the moon and the sun. Then we have music symbols. That looks like that would be this man here. So I warn you in advance that uh, though I love adventure games and I love the story, you know, any narrative driven, story driven game is something that I'm going to want to bring to the channel. Well, depends on this, if it's a horror game, probably not. But I am really bad with puzzles. This looks like a medicine symbol, maybe a doctor symbol. Uh, a snake wrapped around a goblet, so there's a guy with a snake around his neck, and um, I really, really do not want to get an exam from him at all. I would, no. Uh, and then over here, it looks like um, there's a bird, and there's a bird in a cage, so it looks like we might be getting somewhere. Ah, uh, Lumen. Lumen, light, the enlightened ones. Ooh, ooh, uh, mushroom, antelope. The young ones. How do I win this game? No game, Adam. 
These paintings represent five former faculty deans, known as the Enlightened Ones. The library contains their private collections. Lumen is the Latin word for light, so this must be a clue. You're not just a saying clue. that because I won, are you? Hey, not so fast. How is Lumen supposed to get us into the library? Hold wait up. Wait for me. Yeah, wait for us. Evelyn, don't be like that. You know you like us. Come on. I should say us, like he's two of us. <laughs> ah, the problems with Seems let's play. you like games, why don't you crack the lock? Why don't you do it? I'm busy. All right, fine. Well, like I said, I'm terrible at puzzles. So, um, we'll do our best. Let's see. On the right, there are three. Oh, I see. I bet we have to spell out the word lumen. But I'm guessing that as I move one ring, rotate ring. Yeah, that's what I thought. So it seems to me if we try and select this ring, perhaps. Yeah, this is going to be a pain. We're not going to make it easy. Um, so, there's in. Um, as always, if I get stuck on a puzzle and it's so tedious to watch me um, try and work it, then uh, I will pause the recording while I scratch my head in frustration. So I'm thinking, I don't know how we're going to do this. Because it's not as simple as just moving them to the, to the correct letters. Or maybe it is. Okay. I'll take that. Oops. L U. Yeah, that's where we're going to run into trouble with these two. Okay, so. I'm kind of. So it looks like when I turn this one, it moves. So what I need to do is to turn it so that. Yes, let's try this. So I need to move uh, the N until it is, I mean the U, on the middle one here until it is, so let's watch the U as it goes around. U. And the U is now near the M. So now if I go like this, there we go, there we go. So it was lumen, E-N. Let's see, now if I, oh. So if I move to this, how do you move? Oh. The E and the N, which is what we need, on this ring over here is uh, right where we need it to be on the ring on the right. If you can see the E and the N at the bottom. So if I press in like that. Oh, I see. Huh. Okay, this one's going to take a little bit more work. So there's the E. E. That's where I need it to be. So... How many counts is that? Oops. 
One, two, I'm counting around how many R, S, T, U, V. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So if I make the N 14, if I move the N, one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And then if I go out here, let's see. Maybe it'll line up when we get around to the E. Oh my gosh, we did it! Did you figure it out? Yay, I'm a genius! <laughs> okay, now that I said that, that's what my husband and I call that universal smackdown. When you, when you brag, the next thing that you run into, you're gonna fail miserably at. Like if you say, I am so hot, I am so amazing in my sexy new high heels, and then you trip on the sidewalk and fall on your face. Universal Smackdown. Okay, so, hey, so, Evelyn. Now that we're locked in the library, we might as well get that book. Which one is it? I thought you knew. Professor Venture just mumbled, it will be staring right at you, and kept on reading. Um, yeah, he tends to do that, I'm afraid. <sighs> We'd best start looking. So, uh, our character's name is Adam Venture, so his dad is, uh, Professor Venture. So, another new puzzle here. I'm wondering... Hmm. It will be staring you right in the face. Let's take a look around. Like I said, we're about to experience a giant a case. Book that's staring right at you. Why is my dad always so cryptic? Because if he wasn't, we wouldn't have a game to play. So don't be difficult about it. Oh, look at this! Oh! Oh! Okay. Select move ladder. Oh. Oh, there are puzzles. Oh, there are eyes. There's an eye up here. Uh, at the top of the bookcase, there are triangles, uh, pyramids, I should say, with eye uh, uh, in it. I am still recovering from uh, a bronchial infection. I'll have to occasionally stop and cough, and I will always mute the mic if I can catch it in time. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. So, select. Ah! All right. Oh, there are pieces of a ladder. I get it. Okay, well. Um... I don't want to lock it. I want to... Oh! Oh, I see. On its rail. Oh, so, uh, this... W oh, I see. It's a sliding puzzle. I got it. Okay. So, we will lock that and move this. I love how Evelyn is absolutely no help whatsoever. Evelyn, you suck. Okay, so I have a feeling that this is supposed to go in the middle like this. So, I will tell you that, uh, I'm not going to lie, sliding puzzles are one of my least favorite types of puzzles. I don't really have, you have to have a brain for it. Uh, a, a brain that sort of translates the geometric moves. And there's also the extra challenge of providing some commentary that's going to make some sense and be entertaining uh, relatively while we do it. So, um, hmm, good luck with that. I'm going to say, uh, 
Yeah. So it looks like ice cream. This is the middle one right here. <laughs> and I always imagine that you guys are watching and going, Jessa, I don't mean to be rude, but you're a complete and utter doofus. <laughs> and I'd be like, you know what? Um, I know that. And um, what's your point? What's your point there, cowboy? Because I know that already. Um, but actually, I see... Oh, I was going to say. I think I see a solution. So, we're going to... Actually, you know what? I thought I did, but I don't. Because what I was thinking was, okay, this needs to be on the bottom. Based upon its the way it looks. You can see the feet at the bottom of the uh, ladder. So I thought, I could just, you know, okay, here's the bottom. Great, no problem. But... So we have everything on this this rung, which isn't going to help us much. That's the uh, top piece. And that's the middle piece. So I'm thinking that we need to move the middle over here. There was a sliding puzzle piece in the Tex Murphy game that we played on the channel last year and oh my god it drove me to distraction <gasps> drove me down just drove me nuts I, I still have nightmares okay and um this can go up I'm guessing And over. Oh, it can only go one up. I can't go over. Okay, I got it. Perfect. So I need to get them all lined up over here. So I need to get this piece from the bottom. But this piece uh, at the bottom already is in the way. Hmm. Um. Uh. I'll give this a few more tries and then I'll pause recording and solve it. Well, and solve it. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know how that happens. Um, if you are good at puzzles like this, tell me how um, how you solve it. I mean, how what's your thinking behind it? I'm thinking I need to move this over here. Because I think I have a, a 3D brain. Um, there was a game that came out that I was looking at bringing to the channel. And it was such a cute uh, game. And it had an African-American heroine complete with a big bouncy fro. So cute. And I really wanted to bring this game to the channel, but I couldn't. Because it's a 2D platformer. And I am really, really bad at 2D platformers. I just can't. I don't have the brains for it. Uh, the way my mind works. So, let's try moving this. So I can't move that up. I can only move that down and over. I think what I'm losing, what I'm not understanding, is how to get them to switch places, which I guess that's the whole part of the puzzle. Okay, so um, I have a rule that basically I'll spend about five minutes on camera trying to figure out a puzzle, and then after that I will let go and uh, come back when it's finished. So I'm going to do that now, and <laughs> um, I will be back when uh, we're just about to solve the puzzle, and we'll go ahead uh, with the story. It looks like I have some success here. And there we go. So um, the eye thing looking at you, let's see if we can head to this ladder. Oh, I see. I'm pressing the uh, W key to get him to climb. Cool, okay. I really like the music as well too. 
Oh, you can jump up here. Okay. So is there something I can interact with here? Oh, the book. Cool. Leave it up to dad to put it in some ridiculous place. Book. <laughs> you could say it just caught my eye. <laughs> it caught my eye. Seriously. That's right. I'm good looking and funny. And funny. What book mm -hmm. do you want, Nagai? Uh, Not a lot. Right now, I just wish to find a way out of here. Evelyn, the completely unhelpful. Oh, whoa. Check it. Oh, Evelyn. Found a way out. Bring your butt up here. Oh, so you can start crouching. Okay. Oh, neat. Wow, it's exciting. I love this. Hey, Evie, get up here. Oh, look at this. We can get a nice... <gasps> look how attractive. Oh, isn't he handsome? And he knows it, too. Okay. So, um... We're gonna head this way. Crouching away as we go. Makes me want to sneeze. Say, Dad. Dad. Give me a close-up of our hero's backside. Adam Venture, putting the vent into Venture since 1901. Clever and attractive. What more than you need? I'm just curious if I could interact with that, but I can't. Oh, whoa! <laughs> How did you get out of there? It's called a door, Adam. You might want to try it sometimes. You just had to pull instead of push. Just warn me the next time you're gonna pull this on me, okay? <laughs> oh gosh, look at us. Attractive and a bit dumb. <laughs> hey, Evie, Evie, where are you? I'm totally back to front here. Where'd she go? Oh, there she is. She's like, this guy is as dumb as a box of rocks. Hey, how you doing? Are we supposed to do go in here? Is this where we're going? Okay. I got that. No, I got it. I got it. You know what? You actually smell a lot better than my dad's previous assistant. That's kind of, well, sweet, actually. Uh, let's keep going. You're going to let that line get you? Hey, Professor Dad. Adventure? Here's that book you've asked for. History of the Enlightened Ones, right? Ah, most excellent. Yes, that's right. And I see you've met my son as well. Splendid. Splendid. <clears throat> so, why did you need the book, Dad? The so-called Enlightened Ones found something. Something important. This book will reveal their secret. I'm telling you, son, this is it. I love it. Evelyn's like, I got it. I got it. <laughs> she didn't do anything. Fire her. Okay, so we're supposed to use the book. Okay? Let's do that. Hey! Come on, son. Put it down. Okay. Um, I guess we're not supposed ah, to use the book. Good. Now, let us read. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> I see. That's just... Yes. Yes. On the other hand, maybe... Hey, Dad. Dad, fire Evelyn. So we're supposed to use the book. Maybe, is there any other book we're supposed to use too? Or are we just supposed to like, just take that book? Can we use this? Can we look out the window? Oh, that'd be great. Just like in Sherlock Holmes, Crimes and Punishment, you could look out through the telescope and see the people across the street. It wasn't an attractive sight. She was, she was full figured and. Mm. Uh, I see, that's just, yes, yes. On the other hand, maybe. Scholars. Good for nothings. Okay, so, um, hey, how you doing? I want to take a picture in front of that. Uh, so, yeah, it looks like we're actually just supposed to keep snatching this book away, I guess. I'm not sure. <laughs> hmm. uh, slowly put the book down. No one <laughs> needs to be hurt. Give it back, Adam. I don't think he's kidding. Dad, don't be ah, like that. Good. Now, let us read. Uh-huh. 
Yeah. Hmm. So, I wonder if I just take hey. the book... Come on, son. Put it down. Oh, um, there's a symbol that pops up on the screen here. Am I supposed to use it with something? Use it. Uh, use it. Hmm. I'll give it back in a minute, guys. Hold on. Just, I'm trying to be an, an adventurer, adventurer. Can I use it with something? Ah. Adam Venture makes the world go round. <laughs> that one never gets old, does it? It actually just got old. Just, I mean, that's definitely old. Use the book. Use the book. Yeah, I just, the things you think of, I'm like, oh, oh, E. Wow! If there's a secret recess back there, oh, oh whoa! <laughs> great i was thinking oh wow we do a whole lot of falling through the floors dad can i have a ladder okay let's see what we've gotten ourselves into wow. now where am i ah oh, man that hurts dad i don't know if dad evelyn can i call you evelyn hmm. guess not Oh, look, there's a ladder up there. Find a way down. This is cool. Okay, okay. Well, we need to get ourselves out. We are now, wow. It'd be cool if this was like in real life, there really were dungeons like this under Oxford. That'd be awesome. Oh, look, there's something here we can uh, pick up. Just what I was looking for. Woohoo! We have a grappling hook. We're young. We're handsome. Let's party. I am so excited. We can fling it or we can swing it. There's all kinds of jokes in there, just a lot, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try and leave them be. Okay, so you have found the grappling hook. Use this item for flinging and swinging. Okay. Uh, F to fling, and W-A-S-D to swing. Let's try it. <laughs> oh, excuse me, just a minute. Okay, that's funny. That's funny, I'm gonna admit. Okay, let's see. You guys wanna see what an amazing adventurer I am? Watch. Yeah, check it. Check it. You like that? You like that? Okay, so I'm imagining that we can, uh, you can't jump up these rocks seriously. Seriously? Okay. Um, so I'm imagining that we need to use a grappling hook to maybe, um, catch that, uh, ladder over there. But, I bet it's locked. Oh, no, it is! Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Oh, so we're supposed to go down. So seriously, like, what happens if I just jump? Ah! <laughs> All right, I gotcha. <laughs> I'm glad that they put that in there. I'm really glad. Thank you to the developers if you're watching this, for not just putting an invisible wall in there, some lame thing. You know, if I want to be a complete um, numb nuts and just jump off, I should be able to do so. So I think that's what they call in games a failure state. <laughs> um, so let's see where it takes us back to, though. Please, please don't take us all the way back to like... Okay, that's fine. So here we are in the Oxford dungeon, lying upon dusty stones adrift in our own mind okay or something like that but what we're gonna do is um we're going to exit to the main menu so that i and there's it says this here do you want to quit the game 
your unsafe progress, but there's nowhere to save. It's just a checkpoint system and automatic save system. But when we resume uh, in the next episode, we'll be back here in the dungeons. So we're going to click yes here. And that uh, over here tells me that uh, it's automatically saving. So that is episode one of Adam's Venture Origins. Please let me know what you think of this game. It looks so, it's so much fun so far. I enjoy the graphics and I just want to give a great big shout out to Vertigo Games, the developers of this game, and to Sedesco, the publishers, um, for putting together what's going to be a really awesome experience for us to enjoy here on the channel. And if you are enjoying it, hit the thumbs up button below. And if you love it, Join the party and subscribe. I'll see you back here in episode two for more Adam's Venture Origins. And as always, thank you so much for watching.